Welcome to a new series of anime. We're going to start the world's finest assassin, but episode one, I'll put it on YouTube as a promo or teaser, but technically this is a Patreon exclusive series, meaning on Patreon, I want to give my members another perk. I need to give you guys a reason to stick around, right? Because a lot of people sub, they watch one series, they don't have a reason to stick around. So I want to give you guys a reason to stick around and you can vote for your shows that you want to watch on Patreon. We'll watch it. But it doesn't mean that it'll be locked away on Patreon forever. Because if you vote on the YouTube community polls and it wins, I'll put this shit on YouTube too. Gotta give my free to play warriors on YouTube a little bit of a treat too, right? So let's watch episode one right now. Damn, you see that little butt crack right there. Do you see that? Do you see that? I saw it. Okay, the, 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 a lot of fan service immediately. This girl does not look very happy at all. Oh, <laughs> wait, why are you moaning? She's crying. To all the girls show their ass crack. Do you see that? Is that like a is that like a fashion thing back in the day? All the girls they intentionally fucking slip the ass crack. It's like a cleavage, but like behind cleavage. But it looks like the girls here are. Is this like an auction? Maybe. It kind of looks like it, right? Look, it's like a stage and everything. <laughs> That is not a 13 year old build, okay? Once a horny old degenerate is bidding for a 13 year old? I mean, back in the day, whatever goes, I guess. Yo, main character, where you at? Save her. And this is like a milfy queen. Mm. I'm just starting to realize she's not as good as that, I imagine. I don't know. She looks very bitchy, though. This girl's excited. She's not crying. She's different. <laughs> Featured product. So this is like the most coveted possession in the auction, huh? Give me some like 18 year old. Why are they all 13 or 14, dude? <laughs> no dental cavities. Very important, guy. I love how they mentioned that. No dental cavities. Targets of this. No. Targets? Is she an assassin too then? Maybe that's why she's so confident. Magic? Here we go, here we go! What can you do? Just straight up a gun? <laughs> do guns even exist back in these days? I don't think it- Oh my god! They just got bottled! I don't know if that's wine or blood! Get the fuck out of here! Dang- Oh! <laughs> you really flash the panties? It matches her hair color too! Oh! Oh, I remember from the trailer, she's a spear user. Yeah, I mean, obviously she's using a spear, but... <laughs> this would be fucked up, but it's not at all, right? They got what they had in common. Shoot her too. Oh? Magic user. So magic obviously exists in this world. Let's see if they go into like a deep mechanics of it. Why are you... <laughs> Every time she grabs a weapon, she fucking just flashes everything. <laughs> okay. Tart. Dia. Tart. Okay, there's some more panties. This magic incantation, it almost sounds like the language in Mushoku Tensei. Because it's like a completely made up language, right? Just big explosion. Okay. Oh, this blue hair girl. This is the one that I was looking forward to the most from the trailer. Main character. Interesting that we're just starting off immediately in the Isekai world without like an explanation. <laughs> what are you, some kind of like secret police? What do you care so much? Royal order and the principles of how. Okay, that house or something, that's important. End her! Material boss! Oh, we're back. Wait, wait. No, no, this is the Shota, right? This is the Shota. But before he got Isekai, I think. Okay, interesting. We're just, we're just back to real world. Okay. Shoot through the van. Easy. Yep, yep. We got the FMG. Hmm. This man just straight by the rules. He's like a robot. Oh. We're getting to learn about his, you know, morals, his ethics, his principles. Just follow the orders, that's it. Very calculating, very objective, follows the order, just very straightforward. No nuance, no nothing else. I wonder if he changes after he gets isekai. Airplane? 
<laughs> Move, bitch. What? Oh, that's what that was. I think that's a bit of CGI there, yeah? Slow motion CGI flames. Doesn't look bad, though. Wait. Did I just... Wait, 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 wait. I, I was zoning out there for a second. Did he just see that simulation in his head? I mean, he is the world's finest assassin, right? So, like, Giga Brain, super smart. So, while we've already ran away, these idiots are shooting at an empty car. Car explodes and they all die. That's what that was. Okay, for a second, I was like, why did the car just explode? I'm like, wait, 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 what the fuck is going on right now? That's, that is actually quite realistic. Because I was going to say, you just jumped out of a moving car right, like going that fast and you're completely fine. But no, no, no. She actually got injuries. Now, this girl doesn't really matter, huh? Because we're about to get isekai's like, girls. Like, she doesn't matter. She's not going to show up ever again, right? Did the mafia make a mistake or... That's important. I think from the trailer, wasn't he kind of like set up before he died? I remember something like a dialogue of like, I was betrayed or something. Kind of spoilers, I guess, but it's not that big of a deal. Mm? You want to cuddle? What? Okay, never mind. Since he was a child and he's pretty old right now, he must have so many years of experience. <laughs> kind of sad, huh? He's got groomed as a kid just to be an assassin. That's all he knows. Don't you have your own goals, aspirations, dreams? Organization is the greatest tool. What if you get fired? Your entire life's work is just meaningless. Yeah, don't you? She's bringing up a very good point, but... Oh, wait, he actually brings up a good point, too. I never thought about it like that. That is true. You need to just be cold calculated and just do the job. Huh. Hmm, I feel like you're about to get set up, man, for retiring. Oh, you're training you right now. Yeah. Damn. Not to him. He doesn't care. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what else the virgin? What the fuck is he gonna bring that part for? Chill. Chill. It's a gun to my head. It's a gun to my head. Okay, it's her gun. He already got taken. Because I'm a novice. I'm a novice. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't trust anybody, huh? Why are you assuming the organization has your back? This is a very interesting thing happening right now. What if the organization betrays you? And we kind of know this based off the trailer. No! You wouldn't! This is so savage if he does right now. Nothing! I'm a novice! Just do it then! Just do it! Just do it! <laughs> is this part of training too? Yeah, and our classmates are trash. This is so ironic coming from him right now. Don't trust anyone. Why did you think that you could trust me, right? The same thing will go to the organization. Everything he's saying right now is about to backfire on his face. Oh, God. And then how will he feel after he realizes his entire life spent towards his organization? Gone. It was me. The bullets are already out so fast. Thing goes to you, old man. You're trusting the organization too much. That encounter between them, that was actually hilarious. And I don't know if it was intentionally trying to be funny, but that shit was hilarious to me. Maybe you shouldn't have maybe you should have left this part out. It definitely does not look like a Mira Martinez. Alan Smith? Yeah, I could believe in Alan Smith. 1955? God damn, he old! Now, instead of truck coon, I think we're about to get airplane cooned. Well, technically, the airplane, like, get like, shot down? What happens? Maybe we make it to America. Maybe it's a different scene. But from the trailers, I remember, like, an airplane going down, I think. Here we go. The organization. 
Imagine your plane is getting hijacked and you're watching the news fucking live on your phone. That's that's fucking terrifying. Like fuck that noise. Will she also get isekai? What if she tarts? Cause the hair color kind of matches. I don't know. Maybe. She's the tool. Hey, wake up, novice. We gotta go work. Oh, I see. The tool in that way. Even that was part of the plan. Shut your mouth, bitch! Get the fuck down! <laughs> okay. Can he navigate this? Still? Another plane. An actual jet. He's like smiling in the face of death. He's having fun. Straight up, he's livid about this. It is what it is sometimes, man. You get gods. And now, Isekai time. Where's the goddess? Right? Every time we die, we get transported to a new world. We gotta meet a goddess. Get some kind of new powers, right? <laughs> you don't have to give me the old man fan service. He's pretty jacked, though. That's why. It's because you trusted them. Exactly. That's why you got fucked. According to your own words, bro, you shouldn't have trusted. Emotions I suppressed. Because he's supposed to be a robot, like a cold, calculating one. So maybe as new Isekai showed a form, he'll be much more different. Hmm? Goddess, where are you at? This has to be the place where we meet some kind of goddess, right? Yeah, there she is. There she is. <laughs> she is not stupidly alive. <laughs> She's straight up laughing at us, dude. Just like in Konosuba. You know how Aqua laughed at Kazuma? You dumb idiot. You got ran over by a fucking tractor. Oh, damn. Well, he didn't get run over by a tractor. He thought he did. Eh, that's kind of boring. Goddess? What is this voice acting? That's kind of a waste. That sounds more fun. And OP powers? Let's enjoy. Jibril's voice actor. That's right. It's no game, no life. It's an isekai show. It's gonna be some kind of demon king or some shit. What is it? I chose the right soul. She chose? Title drop! Yeah, in a world of swords and sorcery, we're gonna fucking shoot people with guns. Kill the hero. Now, this is different. Usually in isekai shows, the goal is to like save the, the save the kingdom, beat the demon lord. But right now, we got reincarnated so that we can be the world's finest assassin to kill the hero. I hope the hero is some kind of cocky piece of shit like the white knight of justice. Self-inserted justice just like Koki from Arifurata. But we'll see what happens. The premise of this show, pretty fucking fun. Animation, gorgeous. It's pretty fun. The voice acting, on point. The action we saw in the earlier, pretty fucking good. And the... Okay. There was, I'm not sure if it was trying to be funny. But that confrontation scene of what? Why is the gun on your forehead? Your classmates are fucking trash. You're a novice. <laughs> that shit. It just maybe it's just my sense of humor. Maybe I just found the bizarreness so funny to me. But that shit was hilarious, even if it was not trying to be. Anyways, you guys know what to do. Win the YouTube community polls if you want to see it on YouTube. But technically, I'm not gonna make another poll like that until later on because Mahoka will be getting replaced by uh, Reincarnate as a slime and. DXD, once season four is done, it's gonna get replaced by Overlord, right? And Ari Furata has been replaced by Classroom release. So once one of those slots open up, I'll be asking for a new anime. You guys can, you know, vote. And if this wins, you can see it on YouTube. If you can't, better pay up on Patreon. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.